There's an organisation called the NHS Confederation. It speaks for the health services in England, Wales and here in Northern Ireland. And today the man who runs it said people here are dying as our health system drifts without a functioning executive at Stormont. His name is Matthew Taylor and he's been speaking to our health correspondent, Mary Louise Conley, who is with me this evening. Um, he was sounding a little frustrated today. Yeah, and while Matthew Taylor lives and works in England, he is very aware of the local health care picture. And as you mentioned, Declan, he is sounding a little bit frustrated. He says that considering the number of people who are dying each week in Northern Ireland due to an ill-functioning health and social care system, he's surprised that people here are so accepting. As an outsider to Northern Ireland, you know, I, I, I noticed that, you know, if people are hurt or, or, or worse, even killed as a result of kind of political or sectarian violence. It's a huge story, quite rightly, and people are very concerned about it. But yet, every week, tens, maybe even hundreds of lives are being lost as a consequence of not tackling the really urgent health and care issues that we face. And, and yet, nobody seems to be fully addressing that. And the man who's currently in charge of the Department of Health is urging the public just to get behind plans for wide-scale transformation. That's right. And both men were talking at an event to mark the 75th anniversary of the NHS this Wednesday. And the Permanent Health Secretary, Peter May, as you say, took the opportunity to not only thank staff, considering the tremendous challenges they face each day, but he also said that really Northern Ireland needs to press forward with transformation. And he had this warning. I recognise the importance of meeting the needs of all of our population, rural as well as urban, geographically peripheral as well as our hubs. And that's why I'm clear we need all the hospitals we have. But when senior doctors say to me that if it was their family member, they would want them treated at a centre of excellence and not simply the nearest hospital, I listen. I mean, it seems like we are constantly talking about the pressure within the health.